Hello everyone, it's Mattsmas here with you. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're having a fantastic day. So, welcome to Combat Air Patrol 2 Battle of Hormuz. I think that's how you say it anyway. Hormuz? 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 Hummus? Hummus. Who knows? But there is a catch, guys. Unfortunately, this game is not out yet. This is pretty much going to be an advanced warning as to me playing this game, which will be coming up very, very shortly. Now, I've been trying my best to save up for a flight stick to be actually able to play some flight simulation games, because to be honest, I think where my channel is right now, it's very focused on Stilby's Pro and the infantry and the armored side, and I would like to try and get in the sky. They are clearly going to be a lot more opportunities for me to play um, games like this with a joystick, so I've decided to eventually just buy one. Um, I'm not in the greatest for cash right now, but we're just going to do it. So, this game is really cool. It's got a lot of potential. It's one of those games that I can kind of just jump into that's really, really simple, not too complex. Now, I really want to get into DCS, but it has a massive learning curve. A lot of people told me, you're going to love it, but you're going to spend a week just trying to get used to the controls and blah, blah, blah. So this game is kind of a, a quarter arcade, I would think so, anyway, from what I've been researching, and three quarters realism, which is going to be really nice because I can still jump into the cockpit, fly around and feel like I have an immersive flight sim experience, is what I'm looking for. Now, Combat Air Patrol 2 has a couple of features that are really cool. So, fully dynamic, open-ended campaign. We love campaigns, I love the single-player missions, all that good stuff. Um, you're able to control your fleet and air asset, asset, assets, sorry, and plan your missions, waypoints, target, ingress, egress, together with your fleet information, route, and speed. Intelligent AI that will prove a worthy adversary for all levels. The three difficulty levels for the simulation. Uh, so basically, the aircraft that it's based around is an accurate and fully functional model of the AV-8B number no. two Harrier jump jet. Um, really, really cool. A very detailed 3D cockpit with selectable articulated controls. Again, really nice to have for the simulation side. Uh, training modes, flying and deploying weapon systems, which is obviously going to be pretty cool because we want to be able to fire the weapons. And there is also going to be civilian traffic transit shipping lanes entering and leaving ports, which again is also really, really cool. Uh, the battle space is over 250,000 square kilometers of geographically accurate terrain of the Straits of Hormuz. I can never say that correctly, I hope I'm saying it correctly. The training missions are set around the Hawaiian Islands, which is going to be really cool, because who doesn't love Hawaii? It's geographically accurate and has environmental lighting based on longitude, latitude, date, and time. And an accurate star map. These are all tiny little things that are actually really, really cool. And guys, it has multiplayer. That's awesome. That's really, really good to know. I didn't think it was actually going to have a multiplayer um, option, but it does. However, there is a single uh, player game at early access. As of right now, it's going to be launch early access. So I think it'll only be single player as of right now. Um, but uh, multiplayer, it does say, will be following soon after. It is fleet versus fleet. Play co-op against AI fleet or against other players. That would be a lot of fun. I would love to go against the AI with another pilot in a, another Harrier. There is also a campaign co-op mode, so take part in other players' campaigns, missions, and ask for help. Uh, send requests for or opt for an open invitation, so that's going to be awesome. It also allows for VR and head tracking, so there is potential for the HTV Vive, or sorry, HTC Vive, and then the Oculus Rift to follow soon after release, which is going to be amazing. Track IR does work at early access launch as well, which is going to be really nice. Uh, it does say it requires a flight stick, a uh, HOTAS system, rudder, and MFD panel support, and it can also use gamepad mode. Supports various widescreen aspect ratios. That's going to be awesome. System requirements minimum, guys, is going to be a 64 bit Windows 7 Core i3, 2 gigabytes of RAM. Graphics minimum is NVIDIA GTX 750 or an AMD R7 250. Uh, DirectX version 11, obviously. Storage, 5 gigabytes of available space. It's quite a chunky game. You can expect it from a flight sim. Two channel audio pretty simple, but recommended is Windows 10, Core i7, 4GB of RAM, NVIDIA GTX 970, uh, version 11 for the DirectX, obviously again, storage again, 5GB available, and sound card, if possible, will be a 5.1 channel audio. So guys, this game has a lot of potential, I am really, really looking forward to it. I can't wait to be able to jump into this thing and give it uh, you know, a good blast around and see what we can find. Um, some of the enemies that we can go up against then, um, we can go up against the aging but still deadly MiGs, the F4 Phantoms in the air, 
um, some fast attack boats, submarines and ships on the water. Uh, you can search and destroy enemy uh, missile sites as well in the vast desert, which is going to be really, really cool. Um, so that's just a little sort of tidbit of what's exactly going to be going on in the near future of my channel in regards to this flight sim. I really, really hope you guys are able to join me in it. And um, Please leave a comment below if you would like to see more of this particular series. I'm going to be doing it anyway because I've been waiting for this game for a while. And I think it's going to be a really nice test of the water to get me into the whole DCS and flight sim world of things. I don't want to get into it heavy with DCS just yet. So anyway, guys, please leave a like, comment, uh, and share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.